Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this an isosceles triangle ABC inscribed in a circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that this side length AC is 10 units. This side length BC is 10 units as well and this side length AB is 12 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. We know that we are dealing with an isosceles triangle. Now let's go ahead and drop a perpendicular from this uh, point uh, C. So this is going to pass through the center O. And this is our point P over here. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius bisects that chord. So therefore we can see that this perpendicular bisects this chord AB into two equal parts. This part and this part. If this whole length is 12, so this side is going to be 6 units and this is going to be 6 units as well. So therefore this side length AP is 6 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle APC. We can see that uh, we have been given two sides. This is 10 units and this is 6 units. Now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side uh, C, P. And since we are dealing with a right triangle, therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this horizontal side A and this vertical side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. In our case, A is 6, so this is going to become 6 square plus B. We don't know. Let me just write down B square. And C in our case is 10 square. So let's go ahead and simplify. 3 square is 36 plus B square equals to 100. Let me go ahead and subtract 36 from both sides we can see that this is gone so therefore our b square value turns out to be 64 let's do, go ahead and take the square root to undo this uh, square so this square and square root is gone so our b value turns out to be positive 8 therefore our this uh, side B turns out to be 8 units. And here's our next step. We know that this uh, CO, this is our radius. So let me go ahead and call this radius lowercase r. And we know that this whole side length is 8 units. So therefore this side length OP is going to be simply 8 minus r. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect this point A with this center O. Let me go ahead and connect this point. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny triangle APO. And we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem once again. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this horizontal side A. And this uh, side OP, I'm going to call this side B. Now we can see that this uh, side length AO is nothing uh, more than just the radius of this uh, circle. So I'm going to call this radius R as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. In our case, uh, A is 6, B value is 8 minus R, and C value is this radius R. Therefore, our this equation is going to become 6 square plus B in our case is 
एट माइनस आर होल स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू आर स्क्वेयर एंड नाउ लेट्स रिकॉल दिस फेमस आइडेंटिटी ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई ऑन दिस पार्ट देयर फोर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव सिक्स स्क्वायर इज थर्टी सिक्स एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बिकम सिक्सटी फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन आर प्लस आर स्क्वायर इक्वल टू आर स्क्वायर ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड And now we can see this r square on the left hand side and r square on the right hand side they are gone let's go ahead and uh, combine the like terms that is going to give us 100 minus 16 r turns out to be equal to 0 let's move this uh, negative 16 r on the right hand side so we are going to get 16 r equal to 100 let's go ahead and divide both side by 16 now so that means our r radius value turns out to be if we reduce the right hand side that's going to give us 25 divided by 4 and that is our radius so thus our radius value turns out to be 25 divided by 4 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this circle and now let's recall the circle of area formula area equals to pi r square in our case our radius r is 25 divided by 4 now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the area of the circle is going to be pi times r in our case is 25 divided by 4 whole square so if we simplify this thing pi and that is going to give us 25 square is 600 and 25 divided by 4 square is 16 so therefore the area of this circle is going to be 600 25 divided by 16 pi square units And now we know that pi value is approximately equal to 3.14 so therefore the area of this circle could also be written as it is approximately equal to in decimal notation is going to be 122.72 square units so thus the area of this circle is in both notations as you can see and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye